Hey everyone, wow what a month it's been for Sir Spats Gaming because in the last video I did say that I've opened a sim racing centre and today I'm going to talk you through step by step how I've done that, what it used to look like and what it looks like now. I am super excited to show you this especially as the sim racing centre is focusing on your favourite sim and mine and that's a set of Corsa. I think it's absolutely fantastic for customers to come down and get to use a set of Corsa. How it it should be with all the mods on it and with all the favorite cars and tracks that we've got so let's jump straight in then and start right at the beginning and this is the building that I'm going to put the sim rating venue and as you can see it's had some work done on it but it needs a little bit of love and attention so straight away we started cleaning and building out the front of the venue and you can see we've got that nice black gloss there to put our new logo and you'll see that later on and then this was the inside of the building now there's a lot of on the floor this is where I roughly put everything when I first walked into the room and thought where was all the sim rigs gonna go and where was the reception gonna go I had a concept right from the beginning to create a kind of pit lane reception and then have all the rigs in a separate area where people could race safely now the next piece was not fun and that was painting walls so all of the white walls at the back of the building had to be painted black and I can tell you that took a long time that was two or three days of painting a white wall black but eventually I got there after a few long evenings and this is what it started to look like still not perfect but lots of edging to do now the room is really tall and I thought that was important to make sure that it doesn't get too hot in there obviously with computers and sim rigs running this was the final version you can see I put some newspaper on the windows now as I'm starting to kit out the interior of the building that brickwork took a lot of paintwork I can tell you that so we've got coats of black on the back of the building we've got some great seats that are started to fit on parts of the reception but let's talk about the reception because that was going to take a bit of work now I have to give a big shout out here to Andy who's one of my next door neighbors he's a metal fabricator and he built this from my specification and from what was in my head and did put up with me constantly saying that it wasn't quite right so thank you Andy a big shout out for you and then this is Paul from Sign Solutions UK putting a huge logo up on the front of the building the front of the building is about 40 meters wide so there's a lot of skill to put this up and make it look good and I think the logo looks absolutely fantastic so really excited at that so thank you Paul for all the hard work and signage around the building and then I started to get deliveries of various pieces of equipment and of course some arcade machines so I always wanted a table football in the site and this is a UK championship table football and I wanted a drive-in arcade machine and I decided to go for this Sega Rally 2 and you can see some more signage on the windows and the inside is starting to come together this Sega Rally Championship 2 needed a bit of love and attention but I managed to get it all up and working and it looks and drives fantastic in full link up mode and before I carry on showing you the rest of the journey I just want to say a big thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video so here I am in my YouTube studio and as you can see there's quite a lot of tech crammed into a small space. Now one of the reasons that I use FlexiSpot is because their equipment is so user friendly and it enables me to be flexible in the way that I use my space. So here is my FlexiSpot E7 stand-in desk. It's fantastic because I'm working long hours sometimes of video editing and I can stand up at the desk or I can sit down depending on how I want to work. The desk is fantastic, it has multiple functions where you can raise and lower it and there's four memory spots there you can also lock the desk in a certain position so you don't accidentally lean on it and it goes up and down and you can also charge in it too so the charging port is really important because I've always got my phone next to me on the desk and this enables me to keep it all charged up and this really keeps me productive when I am sat down at the desk I am now using this BS8 flexi spot seat which has been a game changer for me I do suffer a little bit from a bad back and this is absolutely perfect the ergonomic headrest and the seat are so comfortable and supporting and of course it's all fully adjustable do check out all the links in the description to head over to FlexiSpot and they have a sale on as this video goes out so do check that out too 
Now we're back at the Sim Racing Center and I've got the arcade machines in next to the Sega Rally 2 and the reception is starting to come together and you can see the theme that I'm going for with that two sides of the room. But the next part of the video is all about hard work and building and I'm delighted to say that Track Racer have become a major sponsor for Accelerate Racing and we've got all of this track racer gear to put together so it looks quite simple but anybody that's put a rig together will know it takes a long time i think it took about 30 to 40 hours to put all this together i know it looks a little bit messy but it was organized and of course we had people like jack one of my staff members to help with this but in the end after three or four very long days we got all of the rigs the basic rigs put together next up we needed the steering and pedals of course and i decided to go for the moser r9 the reason for that is i definitely want to direct drive but also i wanted something that was affordable for the site and for customers to purchase if they left the site and wanted something of similar performance and i've been delighted with the performance of the moser r9 fantastic wheel and base unit also a big shout out to all the other partners on the site including cooler master EKWB, MSI, Antec, Intel, Track Race I've already talked about, A Pacer, and of course Battle Rig. So all of the amazing PCs that you can see on screen are made by Battle Rigs. Absolutely beautiful work of art. So do check Paul out on Instagram under Battle Rigs. So after days and days of building rigs and PCs, putting monitors on, putting wheels on and getting everything running together, here we are, everything was up and running. And I think you'll agree that the Track Racer rigs with the Moser wheels and those amazing Cooler Master curved screens look absolutely fantastic. But let's take a look at the finished site then. But now that the site was finished, we still had to open up and here's a few of my staff members ready to go. And we had the Mayor of Lincoln down to open the site officially. And of course we had a few cars down too. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that was involved in the opening night. And there was a lot of people in the background that did a lot of work. They know who they are to make sure we were ready on time. Cause I can tell you we were working all the way up to an hour before the site opened. But everybody had a fantastic time and the site was actually then fully ready and let's take a look at it in action. I'm happy to say that every customer that's been into Accelerate Racing has had a fantastic experience. And for me, Accelerate Racing was always about accessibility, about having the right equipment at the right level for anybody to be able to walk in and race with their friends. Remember, all the PCs are linked together. We're using a couple of servers to do that, and they've worked flawlessly. Of course, we're using a lot of the mods that I cover on the channel, and everybody has had a great time. We've also had some car clubs down. This is the Lotus Car Club that came a couple of days ago. Had a fantastic time driving the Lotus Cortina at Donington and also the Lotus 25 and the Evora S they had a lot of fun we've also had some caterums come down so Accelerate Racing is open to all car clubs so if you want your group meet here or you just want to come down with some friends or family we will make sure you have a fantastic time we've also got membership nights leagues are starting and we're also going to be moving into some esport events as we get a little bit bigger 
So this is Accelerate Racing. I hope you've really enjoyed me showing you the journey. It's been an incredible four or five weeks for me. There's going to be more videos on Sirspats Gaming, on all of your favorite Assetto Corsa content, but also we will be bringing Accelerate Racing into that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.